beautiful waterway systems behind us here in the beachside town of Sakurama plays host to this year's Oi Rio Women's Pro presented by Corona. Welcome to round number two, heat number three, featuring world champion Tyler Wright. It's unusual to see her not in a yellow jersey. She comes to Brazil ranked third on the roster. She is uh, up against a wild card in the name of Trina Hinkle. I'm Geek Salias, alongside Peter Mel. We're loving it here on our fourth day of the waiting period here. And straight away, we're into action, Pete. That's right. And Tyler Wright, she's going to be loving these right-handers heading into the rocks. Right up her alley. She's working on the back end, but she doesn't have to use it. Why not just show her powerhouse skills on these rights? And, of course, negotiating the white water so well and the backwash. So yeah. she's been putting in a time in the jersey for sure. Well, let's see how the wild card can fare against the talent of Tyler Wright, our reigning world champion of the sport, deals well with the buckles on this wave face. That's a strong hack. This will have the panel excited here. Lovely rhythm to this wave. You see, she doesn't rush anything. And as I say that, little body surf to finish. The wild card with a little in and out. We've got Richie Porter on the line here. Judge Richie Porter, uh, good morning and, well, good afternoon to you now. Hello, lads. How goes it on your end with the panel, sir? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Looking at that 8.33 that's come in early in the seat for Tyler Wright, we saw a great set of numbers for Nikki Van Dyke in the last heat as well. So those scores are available on that right-hander. Yeah, for sure. And just wait till you see the next score. It's um, going to leave the previous score well and truly for dead. <laughs> and why, Rich? You know, what, what would you say that's the real potential and difference between those first two rides for, for her? Well... The first wave, even though she had some nice turns on it, some of it was forward, whereas this second wave that she's now just locked in, she's right in the pocket and on full rail, and, and she's such a strong surfer, you know, you just have to go up into that upper echelon when she drops a wave like that, because you're comparing it to everything else, you know. Uh, a few seasons back, getting the experience and gaining every year, see what the uh, young Brazilian has to offer, just 14 years of age and mixing it up with the best in the world, including a world champion in this heat. Through to the inside, mid-face snap, good control. That wave runs away from her. So it'll be a little confidence builder for the young Brazilian as we move towards the halfway mark in the heat. She's currently ranked 109th on the qualifying series, Pete. Found a few heat wins there. She traveled through Australia this year, surfed in the QS 1000s, the Calf Pro, the Telstra, Telstra stores events. But uh, she's, uh, she also did the trip to Kayama for the World Juniors. Well, good for her because it's all experience and learning, especially when you're traveling you know, at such a young age. You see a nice turn there. The wave shuts down on her fairly quickly. But no problems for Tyler right here. You said that at the beginning of the heat, Pete, that she would just steer this thing. And she'll be moving on to round three. Stay with us. Carissa Moore finds herself in round two. She's coming up against Bianca Batendach next.